show you a little trick for adding Digital Toothy to any online platform, um, especially Seesaw, because I know a lot of teachers use Seesaw, but you can do this with Canvas or Class Dojo or any of your digital platforms um, when you're using Digital Toothy. So you're gonna open up your Digital Toothy, um, set the skill you want to assign to your students. You're gonna go up to File right here and you're gonna go to Publish to the Web. And click on that and then don't worry about this I know it says auto advanced slides but that's only if someone pushes play on it and so you can just tell your students don't push play well, then you just want to make sure this is unchecked so they don't have to sign into anything in Google and then you're just gonna click publish and then ok and then copy this link okay then you're gonna go into your seesaw or whatever platform you have, you're going to add an activity or add a link, where, however you add links. We're going to do a new one. Um, we're going to do Toothy, you can do instructions, and then you're going to go to add multimedia and then go to link. And then right here, you're just going to paste that link and then click check. And then it will bring up this image of the first um, page. So now you're in the assignment and then you can see here is the link that's going to take them right to that toothy game and then you can just push check if you want to add anything else like you do in Seesaw you can type your instructions right here like click the link after click view instructions and then click the link um, then click save and then you want to assign it to your class so we're going to assign it and assign it to your class and then I'm going to show you what it looks like for the student side. Um, they're going to add response. Okay. And then what they're going to do is come view instructions right here. Okay. They're going to click view instructions. And then you can see there's a little link right there. So they're going to click on this and they're going to click on the link and it's going to pop open a new window and it's going to start them on the game right away. Okay, so then they can just click on the game. You can see I didn't have to sign into anything as a student um, besides Seesaw or whatever. I don't have to sign into Google. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and play. Um, if you want to have a record of their responses, you could have them like screen share, like screencast their game as they're playing. If you teach them how to do that, you can have them use the recording sheet that's included with Digital Toothy and write down their answers as they go they go through the game and then put their answers image an image of their answers into seesaw or email it to you or however you do um, student work back to you okay so when they're done they're just going to exit out of the um, window or the tab that they have the toothy game in when they get to the end and go back into seesaw and then they can exit the instructions and here they can add their responses so they could add a photo of the mouthful of teeth. They could add, you know, a video. They can add a note. They can add however they want to respond. And then they can submit the assignment to you. So nice and easy and quick and students don't have to sign in to anything. It's great.